Come back, we're going to talk about having to get permits in national parks. And I'll try not to go all John Dutton on this particular subject. What's going on everybody? How is my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. So, permitting in the national parks to film, huh? All right, we're going to get into this. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I'm going to try not to go, like I said, all John Dutton on this. But, <laughs> just when I thought everything was going to be hunky-dory this year, we have this. Yes, I was planning on hitting some national parks this year and filming. Do I think it's still going to happen? I don't know. Um, but we're going to go over this a little bit. To me, there's a lot to be left interpreted on this thing. They kind of left it, you know, I think they left themselves some loopholes in there where they can say, well, we said, you know, but anyway, I want to read this part of it. This is where I think it gets kind of, you know, muddy federal law requires a permit for all commercial filming no matter the size of crew or type of equipment so like i said they're leaving this up to the rangers poor rangers that doesn't have anything else to do but try to keep you know the crackheads and all that stuff out of their park systems and you know, all the other riffraff that comes in there that, you know, are there to cause trouble. But uh, anyway, this includes individuals or small groups that don't use much equipment but generate revenue by posting footage on websites such as YouTube and TikTok. So they spelled out two of the major social media platforms that host video. They didn't say anything about Instagram, which is kind of odd. They didn't say anything about Facebook, which is even kind of more odd because Facebook and Instagram are owned by the same people and you can do kind of the same thing on there. The primary focus of the NPS, National Park Systems, however, is on commercial filming that has potential to impact park resources and visitors beyond what occurs from a normal visitor's use of park areas. Okay, so if I film a video of Chloe walking up to a geyser at a certain park in the country, fine. I put it on YouTube, I can get fined for not having a permit. There's that. Um, examples of this type of filming are productions that use substantial equipment such as sets, lighting, productions with crews that exceed five people and filming in closed areas, wild wilderness areas and locations that would create conflicts with other visitors or harm sensitive resources. All filmers, no matter size, must comply with rules that apply in park areas just like other visitors. Okay, I agree. 110%. I, if you're doing something stupid in the national park, state park, city park, yeah, butt ought to be fine, kicked out, never allowed back in. Plain and simple. Are you Quit being stupid. Anyway, sorry. But if I'm filming my family vacation or my, you know, whatever for YouTube, now, now let's back up to making money. I don't make a dime off of it. YouTube may make money off of it, probably does make money off of it, but I don't make a dime. With that said, I, I get that part where they're using it commercially. I started my YouTube channel for two things, two reasons. 
One was to have something down the road that my grandkids could go back and look at what grandpa used to do. Two, I like to share the experiences for people that can't get there to do or experience the things we do, such as the off-roading, such as camping, national parks, state parks, all these places that somebody with either physical limitations or limitations, they just can't get there, but want to see it. That's my other reasoning behind my YouTube channel. Now, here's, here's, <laughs> how do I get the permit? Well, you have to get in touch with the poor guy that's sitting up there at uh, Daniel Boone National Forest. At the three, now that's something else you got to think about. There's three offices at Daniel Boone National Forest. I'd have to check and see if there's a primary office. You would have to go through either all three of those offices or one primary office or a primary office of a park to say, hey, I need a permit to film these days for my YouTube channel by myself or with my family. And it's up to them to grant it whether they want to or not. Now, here's the best part. These poor guys, like I said, are overstaffed, I mean, understaffed, overworked, and now they're fixed to have onslaught of YouTubers and TikTokers that want day pass, day filming things and, you know, week long, whatever. Now I've got to sort through all that. So they didn't have enough to do. Now we're going to throw all this on them. But here's, here's another where they left interpretation wide open. One to two people, camera and tripod only, zero dollars a day. So it technically would cost me zero dollars a day if it was just me, myself, and I, or me and Bill even. But if you throw my wife in there and my daughter and me, well, that's three people now. So guess what? You fall under the one to 10 people, $150 a day. Now for somebody that's not making any money off of it, but YouTube is, or Instagram is, or TikTok is, it's not worth it anymore. But I don't feel like I feel like then the poor park guy's got to make that interpretation. Do I charge him for a permit or do I not? I think it'll also get to the point where they get hundreds of these things a day and they go, I don't have time for this. Denied. Denied. So that's just what I've read, what I have, my interpretations of some of this. I'm going to leave a channel at the end that has a has an awesome video on this explaining more in depth has an attorney that actually explains the his answer his view of it from a legal standpoint because i offer zero zilch as far as legal um, representation i will also leave a link to this particular thing from the national park service so you can view it yourself um, what people don't realize, it actually applies to all federal lands. If you don't believe so, go on the U.S. Forestry Service, USDA, and look, or U.S. Forestry Service, and look it up because it even applies to them. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I appreciate you watching. Sorry to stir the pot, but I'm stirring the pot this Saturday. Be prepared. See you on the next one.